All right, we are here where we left off at Costco. What a tobacco to get out of that parking lot with so many pedestrians. Are we, we're kind of yielding here to a, an opening, but there was no car. Now we're kind of going again, but is this hot? Okay, okay. so FSD hesitated four times there and let the Hyundai in. I knew it had a plan, right? All right, we're coming up to the stop sign. This is version 12.3.6, supervised full self-driving. We're on a production build on this new 2024 performance, 14.100.1. I feel like it's driving a little bit different than 2024.3.25, but still hesitant. All right, that's two stops. Let's see if we can do a third one. We're clear all around. Oh, there's the almost a third stop. All right, FSD, I'm just playing with you. Now we're going to be entering the freeway here, the I-215. And headed on to Chipotle. It's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas on FSD. I haven't driven too much this car since I've had uh, the new Performance Model 3. I've just been letting FSD drive me everywhere and it's fantastic. Currently got 62% on the clock, 189 miles. We're kind of winding down. I want to do a 15% challenge at the supercharger. See if this performance Model 3 charges faster than my last Model 3. We're still on the V12 stack entering the freeway. We should merge to the V11 stack shortly. It's been doing a great job merging onto these, this area of the freeway. Still on V12 stack. Now we just went into the V11. Let me slow it down to 70 check our autopilot settings got it on assertive no minimal lane changes and we got the automatic set speed offset turned on and by the way this is ludicrous the ludicrous model 3 oops I accidentally set those to uh, parking so smooth I highly advise to get the Highland Model 3. This ambient light in here, even the AC system is better. It feels cooler, it has better positioning. I don't know what it is, but it is definitely better. Smaller steering wheel. So it looks like 3.8 miles on this drive, six minutes on route. Let's go ahead and uh, test out some lane changes. I'm gonna go in arrow left. Very good, blue highlighted up quick. That's another problem I've been seeing on this update is doing manual lane changes on FSD. It's kind of hit and miss lately. Let's go ahead and do another arrow to the right. So far it's performing great today. We're gonna be continuing straight on this path. Got another black Model 3 ahead of us. Let's go and try another lane change to the right. Yeah, as soon as I start talking about it failing a lot, it performs it every time perfectly. <laughs> and that's how it works when you go to the service center. If you have a noise or a creak or something going on with your car and then you take it there, you cannot replicate it. All right, let's arrow over to the right. Perfect. Love this upgraded freeway we have here. This is the mini spaghetti bowl here in the Northwest. And if you got a new performance Model 3, leave me your feedback below. Tell me how you've been enjoying it. This car is blowing me away. It's absolutely my favorite car that I've ever owned. I say that without a doubt. The smoothness on the suspension just, it blows me away. Every time I think about it, I'm like, wow, this is so soft. at least compared to what I'm used to. All right, so we're gonna be exiting in 0.7 of a mile, doing a little bit of city streets drive to Chipotle. Once we get to Chipotle, I'm gonna test out the auto park and we will test out the shift out of park. All right, we're gonna to wanna to merge. So as soon as I saw that blue, the car light up blue, that lets me know FSD is thinking about moving to the right lane here. Got the arrow on. 
and I can't wait for the next update. Let me check Tesla Fi real quick. The no nag, the new nag controls. Oh my God, we got so much to look forward to. Right now, the latest build is 2024.20.1. A pretty good push, about 695 on Wi-Fi waiting on Tesla Fi. And then the other big push is still 14.9. But the one we want is 15.5. FSD, the new 12, 14.1 version. Nice maneuver into this lane. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. My day is starting out great, 100 degrees. Yeah, so one of the questions was, is the cooling in the car working in, in the Las Vegas heat? Absolutely. But here's the thing which probably throws off my watt hours per mile. But in the summertime, if I'm not, if I'm just parking for an hour or less, I leave the air conditioner on outside. So it is, I usually put it to about 73 and just what you do is you hit this and then there's a little keep cool. So you can just hit it there and it'll stay on. Now I believe if you get below 20%, it will automatically turn off or if it's been on for extended periods. All right, so I just pulled up the map. We got the green light. Let me go ahead and take this route through the parking lot. On a Saturday, there should be quite a few pedestrians and traffic, so let's see how it does. And then, okay, we have construction straight ahead, so we do need to maneuver over quickly, and FSD did perfect there. Good timing. I feel like it's been nailed in this construction like almost every single time. Oh, we got the car turning. We're not gonna turn here yet, though. Good to slow down, perfect. Not too aggressive, not too late or early. And then we're merging here right over the cones, or right around the cones. Kind of hesitant. I don't like that behavior with the truck behind us. All right, so we'll be pulling up, and then we're going to be cutting across the middle where Smith's is at. Smith's, if you don't know it, it's kind of like the shopping center, one of the most popular ones out here in Las Vegas. You got Smith's, Albertsons, where other people have like Kroger and different things like that. Like in Texas, you got H-E-B, the big popular one. Okay, we have one pedestrian here. Tatted up. All right, full stop. What do we got? Got one Honda here on our left. We are pretty clear to the right, if unless we just wait, and then we're not. Well, I think we could have gone a couple times already. I'm gonna goose it here just to push it out into the street because we could definitely go there. That's another thing on 14.1 that I heard is really good is that it's just taking these turns with, with confidence. I can't wait for that. That's where it's lagging right now. Uh, we're cruising through slow. It says 25 max speed limit. We're doing seven. I'm gonna goose it just to see if we speed up a little bit. And we speed it up a little bit. This little throttle press. We're clear on all sides. I'm gonna goose it again. We can't be sitting here. That right there, that hesitation is probably one of my biggest pet peeves right now. I think I, that I can think of right now. The other one is when I'm on the freeway and I put on my indicator indicator manually and it doesn't want to change lane. I just it's like it's, it gets kind of frustrating. All right, got one pedestrian here. We are like a very far from the stop sign. I'm a goose at the car behind me doesn't like it. I'm off. Now we're at the stop. What are we going to do here? We're going to go around. I think FSD would just state. No, okay. All right, we have pedestrians coming out. Another one coming here. All right, we're moving up. Going around. Another pedestrian crossing and a Jeep. Very good. I like that. Looks like we're going to be turning down this next. Looks like we missed that entrance. And we're not turning there either. So it looks like it rerouted us to this one, right? Nope, I'm going to go ahead and disengage. And we won't even leave anything there. So yeah, I don't know where it was going at that point. This was the road we needed to take, which it had navigated, it had the nav data. With that being said, I wanted to show you that we did just re receive a new update. It's 2024.8 on the navigation data. So that's great. Let's go ahead and do an auto park right under this tree. 
All right, full stop. Press park, one, two, three, let's go. All right, no traffic behind, so that's pretty good. I just initiated that rear cam, but let me usually, okay, we're going slow. You know, on the last video, I think I said four or five X speed on, uh, if they could speed it up, even two X would be perfect. Just twice as fast as it is now. And that guy's got a latte, it looks delicious. So this is Auto Park version one on 12.3.6. We can't, I can't wait to test the 14.1, but let's go ahead and test out a quick shift out of park. So I'm just gonna press the brake and it already says, uh, press the throttle. It already knows where we're going. So we just kinda go straight from uh, park to brake. And then, so if I stop here, put it in park, most likely it'll route us forward. So we'll press the brake and forward, but we're gonna go back and we're gonna back it up and park. Now the question is, can I see anybody? So dangerous with these trucks. Whenever there's a truck, you gotta be very cautious pulling out. All right, everybody, so thank you so much for watching on this short drive to Chipotle. Leave your feedback down below. Subscribe, smash that like button, and thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.